Hello, welcome to today's session. Today we are going to discuss the concept of heap sort. There are many sorting algorithms like you have bubble sort, quick sort, insertion sort, binary sort and the heap is one type of sorting technique. Now what is actually a heap? So heap is a complete binary tree and it will have at most uh, two children. Okay, uh, so if you have a number like this in array and you want to sort these numbers the first and the foremost step you have to do is represent this number in the form of a heap heap is a tree structure okay and it will have at most two children so the first number will become the root node and the next number will be inserted as a left child the next one will be the right child again the next one will be the left child the next one will be the right child then 76 will be the left child and 54 will be the right child and the last one will be your last left child so you have to represent the array in the form of a tree. Now actually there are two types of heap. You have max heap and you have min heap. Okay, max heap is uh, the parent will be greater than the left child and right child. Min heap, the parent will be less than the left child and the right child. So today in this concept we, won't, we are going to consider only the max heap. So when you have a number and you want, when you have an array and you want to sort the array, the first and the foremost step is represent that in the form of a heap. Okay, and that heap should be a max heap. So initially, this one is not a max heap. Why? Because here you can see the parent is not greater than the left child and the right child. So the first thing that you have to do is you have to convert this tree into a max heap. Okay, for that what you have to do, you have to check every parent. So here you can see these are all leaf nodes, right? They don't have any children. So which is a, a parent? You, you can see this one is one parent, this one is another parent, this one is another parent and this one is another parent. So now you have to check all the parents and you want to check whether all these parents are greater than the left child and the right child. Okay, so you have to start checking the parents. So let's start from the last parent. Okay, check whether this parent is greater than the left child it's not greater right so here the left child is greater than the parent so in that case you have to swap the left child and the parent you have to swap okay then go to the next parent okay next parent now here you have to check here you see the left child is greater than the parent so in that case you have to swap these two elements okay so 9 will come down 76 will go up okay so here 11 will come down 22 will go up now go to the next parent okay here you can see the parent is the uh, greater than the left child and the right child so no need for any swapping go to the next parent here you can see the left child is greater than the parent so swap here so this will become 81 and this will become 89 okay so this will become 89 now your tree is a max heap okay so this is your uh, resulting tree so this is the first step that you want to do so to do this first step actually you want to know the size of the heap so what is the size of the heap so here you can see this is the index of the array okay so the size will be uh, 8 0 to 7 is the index so size will be 8 now you want to know what is the location of the parent so let me call that as index so to find out the parent location, this is a formula, size divided by 2 minus 1 is a formula to calculate the last parent. So this will be 8 divided by 2 minus 1, so that is nothing but 3. So here you can see 3, okay, 3 is what, 11, okay, so this is the last parent. So you have to check all the parents, okay, so you have to write a while loop in Java. Okay, so you can write index while index greater than or equal to 0. What you have to do? You have to check whether your tree is a heap. Okay, you have to reduce your index every steps. Okay, so this is what you have to do for the um, initial position. Hope you understand. So you have to know the size, then you have to know the last parent and then you have to repeat the steps for every parent. So every parent you have to repeat the steps okay you have to check whether it is a heap so actually what is the concept to check whether it is a heap the concept to check whether it is a heap or not is you have to check um, let us assume uh, maximum as index 
okay so first let's take this child uh, let's take this parent okay so uh, let us assume maximum this is maximum now i want to compare my left child and the right child okay so what will be the left child if this is the parent what will be the left child the formula to calculate the left child is 2 into max plus 1 okay the formula to calculate the right child is 2 into max plus 2 okay this is a formula to calculate the left child and right child position okay so uh, for example take this uh, parent the location of this parent is 3 so 3 into 2 plus 1 will be 7 So, if uh, your max is 3, then your left child will be 3 into 2 plus 1, that will be 7. Okay, this will be 7. So, here you can see 7. 7 is your left child, right? So, you have to compare the left child and the max. So, I will just compare, I will just check if array of left child is greater than array of max. Okay, if it is greater, then I need to swap. So, which will be your maximum now? Your maximum will be left child. Okay, so initially your maximum was index. Now your maximum is left child. Okay, so if your index and maximum is not the same, then you have to swap. Okay, so how will you swap? You need a temporary variable, right? So, in the temporary variable, I will be storing um, array of max now in my array of um, okay i'll be storing array of max in the temporary then an array of index i will store the temporary in array of i'm sorry in array of max I will store the array of index. Actually, first I have to store this and then I will store array of index. I will store the temporary. Just I need a temporary variable to swap the elements because I'm going to swap this. So if you want to swap, you need a temporary element. So you store the maximum value in temporary. Okay, that is the left child value in temporary and in the uh, left child I will put my uh, parent value and in the parent value now I will store the temp. Okay, so this is just uh, swapping. So this is a procedure that I have to do to check whether it is a heap. So after swapping again you have to call heap because after swapping sometimes it will not follow the max heap property after swapping suppose for example uh, these two nodes you are swapping after that maybe uh, it's not the heap you have to check again uh, whether it's following the heap property after swapping again coming here you have to check whether it's following the heap property so continuously you have to check after swapping after every swap again you have to call the heap function to check whether the swapping resulted um, in the max heap okay so finally you will get the max heap tree so this is your max heap tree now you have to do the uh, sorting okay so now how to do the sorting so sorting first you have to swap the parent with the last leaf so here this tree will become 11 will come here 81 76 22 14 9 54 so here you will get 89 okay so this is the largest element and the largest element is occupying the last position so this is sorted now you have to do sorting for the remaining tree now is this a max heap it's not the max heap so here you can see the parent is not greater than the left child and the right child so you have to heapify again okay so how will you do heapify take the last parent okay check whether it is the 
uh, max heap. Yeah, this is max heap. I'll go back to the next one. Is this a max heap? Yes, it's a max heap. Now go here. Is this a max heap? No, it's not the max heap. Which is largest? The left child is the largest. So you have to swap here. So this will result in. So here what will happen? Here you will get 81. And here you will get 11. Okay, so here you will get 81 and here you will get 11. Now, see, after swapping, you see the max property is not achieved in the subtree. So, you have to call heapify again. So, after swapping, you have to call heapify again. Now, again, check the parent is not greater than the left child. So, again, you have to swap these two elements. So, here you will get 22 and here you will get 11 okay we finish now what you have to do repeat the same steps again exchange the parent with the last node okay now this is your last node because this is frozen it's in the right position so freeze it okay so you have to swap these two things so 54 will go here So here you have 11, here you have 14, here you have 9 and here you have 81. Now this, the second largest element which is occupying the current uh, correct position. So as you sort know, you have to put that elements in the array. Okay, so 89 will be in the last position, 81 will be in the last before position. So freeze it. So now you have to call heap for the remaining tree. Take the last parent, check whether it is the largest, yes. Take the last parent, check whether it is the largest, yes. Take the last parent, check whether it is the largest. It's not largest, right? Either the right child is greater than the parent. So what you have to do, you have to swap. Okay. So let me swap here. So here you will get 76. Here you will get 54. Okay, so here you will get 76, here, sorry, here you will get 76, here you will get 54. Okay, now after swapping again, you have to check whether it is a max heap property. You have to call heapify again to check whether it is a max heap. Yes, it is a max heap. So you can stop here. Now again, swap the first element with the last element. So when you swap, So here you will get 9, here you will get 76. Okay, so here you will get 76, here you will get 9. Now it is freezed. So here you will get 76. This is the third largest. Okay, so you have to freeze. Now you have to call the heap for the remaining tree. Start with the last parent. It doesn't have any children. So you go to the next parent. Is this largest? Yes, it's largest. Now come to this parent. Is this largest? It's not largest. The right child is the largest one. So here you have to swap. So 54 will come there and 9 will come down. Okay, 54 and this will be 9. So this will be 54 and this will be 9. <coughs> now what you have to do? You have to swap the first one with the last element so 14 will come here 54 will go there okay so 54 and this will be 14 okay so this is the fourth the largest element now freeze call the heap for the remaining part of the tree Okay, now this is not the parent because it's not having any children. So start from here. It has only one child. Yeah, parent is the uh, maximum. Go to the, this parent. Now you see the left child is greater than the parent. So you have to swap. So 22 and 14. Okay, so here you will get 22. Here you will get 14. 
okay so this is the maximum even if you call heap again this is a maximum okay so now next one swap the first element with the last element so in that case so 11 will go here 22 will come down okay so 11 will go here 22 will come down okay so 22 will occupy the last position now you have to do heap for the remaining tree and these are leaves directly go and compare the parent is the parent largest no the left child is greater so you have to swap so 14 will go up then you will have 11 here and then you will have 9 here okay now you have to exchange the first element with the last node right so 9 will come here 14 will come down so 14 put in the array okay freeze it now you have to heapify is this a heap it's not a heap right so you have to compare the parent with the left child left child is greater so you have to swap so 11 will go up and 9 will come down okay now what you have to do you have to change the first element with the last element so 9 will go up and 11 will come down copy the 11 to this one freeze it you have remaining only one node left okay so this has no parent uh, this has no children's this is the only parent just copy the node directly now you can see the elements are sorted okay so heap sort has two parts the first part if you have an element in the array copy the element in the tree structure and check whether the tree is a max heap okay so how will you check whether the tree is a max heap you have to check every parent you have to check every parent okay so this is also a parent so you have to check all the parent so how will you know which is a parent you have a formula size by 2 minus 1 is a formula so that will be your index so decrement your index repeat the steps okay for all the parent what steps you have to repeat you have to check whether parent is greater than the left child and the right child suppose if the right child is greater than the parent then swap the parent and the right child if left child is greater swap the left child and the parent okay so those steps you have to repeat for all the parents so now your tree will become the max heap so once your tree has become the max heap now you have to swap the first element with the last element okay so when you swap the first element that is the topmost element will occupy the last position the array okay then heapify your tree again after heapification copy the first element swap the last element with the n minus 1 position okay the first element with the n minus 1 position okay so the element will occupy here then again heapify so this procedure you have to repeat for all the elements so always you have to swap the first node with the last node okay so the last node will be keep on decrementing okay so you have to start from um, size minus 1 okay and this will be decrementing every time you have to swap the first node with this node okay so this will be decrementing for every root understand so same procedure will be repeated until all the elements are sorted so the same thing only we have to um, write as a java program in two parts one part to heapify this tree the second part is to shift the first element with the last element and the last element will be decremented until you reach the root node okay so this is how you have to write the um, java code hope you understood the heap sort thank you for listening